Okay, here we go. What's up, kids? It's me, Rachel. Welcome back to Rachel Reads. This book is so awesome. It's called Where is Bear? Has anybody seen him? Will you help me look for him, please, right now? Thank you so much. Where is Bear by Leslie Newman, Valerie Gorbachev. Where is Bear? I think they're going to have a game of hide and seek. I love hide and seek. How about you? I knew it. I knew it. I just knew you'd say you loved it. Look, there's a fox and a snake and a frog and a crow and a, and a little guy. I forget what he is. Let's turn the page and find out. But where is Bear? Where is Bear? <laughs> Oceanside Public Library. Have I ever mentioned that I love the library? It's my favorite place in the world. Let me mention that again. It's true. <laughs> Who wants to play hide and seek? Everyone hide. Bunny, don't peek. Where's Bunny? Oh, there he is. He's peeking. He needs to stop that. With eyes shut tight so she can't see, Bunny counts out. One, two, three. Everybody's going to go run and hide. That's how you play hide and seek. You ready, guys? Okay. Fox sneaks behind a fallen log. Oops, she almost sat on frog. Oh, my goodness. Where is turtle? It's hard to tell. Is that a stone or a turtle shell? Look, is it? It's turtle shell. Can Chipmunk fit behind that twig? I don't think so. She's too big. Look at silly Chipmunk. Skunk digs out a great big hole and hides behind a friendly mole. That's what that was. It's a mole. The little mole has a pointy nose. And the skunk is, is the one that makes a stinky smell. Ant and beetle slip below the big black shiny wing of crow. See them under there? Look. Gotta look closely. See them? Ladybug flies across the lake to hide beneath a rock with snake. There's Ladybug. Now all are found except for Bear. No one sees him anywhere. Hmm. Look, they're all like about to freak out a little bit. Beetle asks, where can he be? We've got to find Bear instantly. Frog leaps on a pile of rocks to look for Bear along with Fox. Hmm. Turtle and Chipmunk rush to seek the missing bear up near the creek. Mole hurries to catch up with Skunk, who peers behind an old tree trunk. Did they find him yet? They didn't. Ladybug rides on Snake's long tail as they explore a curvy trail. Where is he? Ant and Beetle search the weeds. Crow flies high above the reeds. So now Crow can see. The animals all gather round. Oh no, cries Snake, Bear is still not found. <laughs> Turtle, Skunk, and Bunny shout, Come out, Bear, come out, come out. Could Bear be hurt? <gasps> could Bear be sick? Or could this be an old bear trick? <sighs> There's one place left where Bear might be. <clears throat> but no one wants to look and see. It's cold and damp and dark as night. It fills the animals with such fright. Who is feeling very brave? Who will go inside the cave? Will you? Bunny says, we'll go as one. That's the way it must be done. We're all going to go together. Who's that sleeping over there? <gasps> Wake up now, you silly bear. Look at Bear. He's asleep in the cave. Oh, Bear is so silly. Okay. Crow and Fox give Bear a hug. He's their friend. And here's a kiss, says Ladybug. So sweet, the Ladybug. Bear shouts, who wants to play again? <laughs> he shuts his eyes to count to ten. You guys ready? Bear says, one, two, three, four, and then what happened that sleepy bear begins to snore oh he's so silly again oh, he fell asleep again that is so silly and that is the end i just love that story look at them all <laughs> silly sleeping bear okay let's all clap and say we love books Woo! <laughs> we love books. We love books. Okay, I'll see you next time on Rachel Reads. Bye.